How much does it cost to own a Tesla per month or per year? You know, just like in my previous video, I'll tell you the short answer is not as much as you think. Now, let me mention that this video is part of the longer series called How to Afford a Tesla, where I share different tips and uh, lifestyle hacks that I've implemented in my own life. So I was able to afford not just one, but uh, two Teslas. And this is something that almost everybody can implement in their lives and not necessarily so they can afford a Tesla as well. This is this could be used for if you just want to free up some extra cash in your monthly budget or put that money away into your savings or your retirement account. Now, just like I said, these are all the tips that I've created for myself, implemented myself for a couple of decades and had a pretty good success with it. And none of them are really that difficult. You don't have to change your lifestyle. Now, the videos that I've already made for the series are going to be linked to in the description of this video, but I strongly encourage you to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the future videos moving forward. All right, so let's talk about how much money you're going to spend on your Tesla once you hopefully buy it. Now, it's really not that different from owning a regular car. For example, you know, there's a lease or, or your loan payment per month uh, that you have to pay, and it depends on how well you bought uh, your car. Now, I just made a video, the previous video was about uh, how much uh, you can buy a Tesla, and if you got a good deal, your payments could be very, very low. Um, so that that's something to obviously something that's that's up to you, uh, but you have control over it when you're buying a car. Of course, you probably want to be putting a little bit of extra money away uh, for that time when you have to buy another one, so you have some money for the down payment. That's up to you. That's kind of a personal finance choice, I recommend doing that just so you, you you always have the money for the down payment. But your lease or the loan payment probably will be the biggest chunk of what you're going to pay for your Tesla, just like with any other car. And like I said, it's up to you. You should make sure that you buy your Tesla at the best price you can possibly get it. All right, just like I said in the previous video, electricity also plays a big role here because the car is electric, you don't have to spend money on gas, and electricity costs much less. Um, I recommend checking with your utility company to see if you have a special rate for uh, charging cars at night. It's not so much specifically charging your car, it's just the rate drops significantly at night and it goes back up um, to over over the uh, standard, a little bit higher than the average rate, but usually you're at, at, at work or in the office or with your kids, so you end up paying less overall and definitely for charging your car, even much less. Now, a lot of times the charging your car um, it takes just as much electricity as your entire household uh, when you get your bill. So just so you know, that's a lot of electricity. Um, if you if your company doesn't necessarily offer that, there are other ways how you can sort of steal electricity here and there in life. For example, your work might be offering discounted rates at the, if they have chargers in their parking lots, or a lot of times those companies offer it for free. So if you're working for a company that offers that to you, obviously you want to charge there as much as possible. When you travel, most cars that are on, on the road right now have free supercharging for life, so you don't have to pay when you travel. And that's where you spend a lot of money, not just because you drive a lot on, you know, on your vacation when you drive long distance, but also a lot of people drive long distance during holidays, three-day weekends, and that's where gas rates go up through the roof. And that's where you can definitely save money by not having to pay anything for your electricity. All right, maintenance. It's another thing that you're going to save on. Definitely forget about oil changes and you know, they're not that expensive, but they do cost about, you know, on average, it averages out to $10, $20 a month. You can forget about those. Of course, you can forget about tune-ups because you don't have an engine. Those set up as well, especially if you're driving an older car and also the transmission fluid change, which you should do it um, also relatively regularly and it is much more expensive than an oil change. You can forget about all of that. Now, Tesla does recommend that you do uh, annual uh, checkup maintenance uh, with them, but it's not required. So you, if you want to spend literally zero, that's what you're going to spend. All right, of course, tires is something that you have to replace. And this is where it's really not that much different than other cars. Uh, Tesla offers different uh, sizes of uh, wheels. So of course, the more sporty, you know, for example, 21 inch uh, wheels will you know, the, the tires on those, on those wheels will go much faster because there's just less rubber. If you get 19 inch wheels, for example, Model S, 
they will last longer. Now, if you have a single motor, your back wheels will definitely uh, make your tires go faster because that's where all the torque kind of goes to, especially if you like to take off really fast, which is fun in Tesla, of course. If you have a dual motor, then they will be wearing relatively um, evenly um, and, and you will have to change uh, uh, tires as often. Now, of course, make sure to rotate them again, just like with any other cars, especially if you just have a rear uh, axle motor a single motor Tesla. Um, so there's really not much I can add here. Just make sure that you um, exercise your common sense and know that um, you know high profile tires will wear off faster than the regular tires. Insurance. Now there are some insurance companies like AAA who just raised rates uh, for Tesla drivers because somehow they figured out that it costs more to repair Teslas, which could be true, which is I'm not really quite sure if it's if it's if it, I think it's getting better because you know the the supply chain is something that Tesla is really is really improving and uh, the parts are more available so it's probably going to even out pretty soon but right now probably it is a little true that Tesla parts and and repairing Teslas are a little more expensive but on the other hand Tesla drivers are usually uh, safer drivers simply because autopilot autopilot is a pretty safe feature and it's only going to get better so if anything. I expect that Tesla drivers will get uh, discounts because of that. Uh, it, but it, right now it's just AAA. Other companies, other insurance companies are actually offering discounts for eco-friendly cars in general. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to be offering discounts for cars that are, have a self-driving feature. And by the way, Tesla is one of the more safer cars out there. So injuries uh, that, that Tesla drivers sustain when they do get into bad crashes don't cost as much. Um, now, I know this is a young company and this is a very new movement of electric cars, so insurance companies are still figuring out, but the good news is that Tesla is actually going to step in at some point, at least that's what they said, and offer their own insurance. And I'm sure they're gonna do it fast, uh, sooner rather than later, if the insurance companies will decide to raise rates on Tesla drivers. So that's great news. Tesla just said that they are definitely going to try to disrupt that industry as well. I'm looking forward to it. And I would say that their rate's probably gonna be great because they know exactly uh, what their cars are capable of, uh, how safe they are, and bundling insurance with, with your car payments is probably going to be much cheaper. So there's good news there. Now, the last one is not necessarily savings, but in a lot of people's minds, their time is money. And so in a lot of states, you do get a carpool sticker at least through the next two or three years, uh, which means you can drive in a carpool lane um, with just you in a car just because you drive an electric car. Again, you kind of have to determine this for yourself if it's worth some money for you because maybe you, you spend much less uh, time and traffic, uh, you get to do more at work or you just get to spend more time with your family and friends or doing things that you love and that obviously uh, is worth more than money. So something, something to uh, think about, especially in states where you do get a carpool sticker. So this is pretty much it. As you can see, a lot of these items are pretty much exactly the same as for other cars. And the, uh, the, the rest of them actually are very beneficial for electric car owners, but especially for Tesla owners. So owning uh, a Tesla is actually cheaper in some ways uh, than owning a, uh, an equivalent car, but it all comes down to your payments, of course, your lease or your loan payments. So this is pretty much it. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the future videos in the How to Afford a Tesla series, which this video is part of. Other than that, see you next time and remember to stay charged.